Death Take a bunch of actors. Has a been bunch of actors. actors. Has been actors. Has been actors. Put them in a TV film. Put them in a TV film. Put them in a fiery crash. Put them in a fiery crash. Oh. Hey, Robert Reed and Burgess Meredith. Not the dad from Br Brady Bunch. Yes, he is. In a fiery death scene. Oh. Marty Miller, too. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD. There was a guy named Joel, not too different than you or me. He worked in a satellite loading bay, just polishing switches to pay his way. He did his job well with a triple face, but his voice is still like him, so they shot him in the space. Was then cheesy movies, the worst ever made. Joe says when you got lemons, you make lemonade. Now keep in mind he can't control when the movies begin or end. Because he used the extra parts to make his robot friends. Robot roll call camera. Servo. Tipsy. Crow. If you're wondering how he and breathes and other science facts just to beat yourself it's just a show i should really just relax for mystery science theater 3000 i don't want to talk about it Come on, Clay. You've been brooding ever since you got back from Vegas. You gotta tell me what happened. Listen, Clay, I'm your friend. More than that, I'm your partner. And more than that, I'm your doctor. And if you don't tell me... <laughs> time for the physical. You're right, Larry. I don't know how I can keep this from you. Look in the briefcase. So oh, my God! Sacks and sacks of money. <laughs> I want it playing Kino. He knows my game. What can I tell you? I don't know. I, uh, I tried everything to lose. I, I tried closing my eyes and making little X's on the paper, and everything I did worked. I'm charmed. What can I tell you? They're hundreds. I know. It's like that episode of Andy Griffith when Aunt B went to Las Vegas and put the chip down on the roulette wheel and, and kept on winning. And, uh, Larry, it, it gets worse. Worse? There, there's more in the car. In the mad scientist mobile? Uh, no, the... The Austin. The Austin? Yeah, I bought it to bring the money back. I, uh, I bought you one, too. Ah, oh, thank you. Cheers. Uh, thought I'd weigh that down with money, too. <laughs> Traction, you know. Good idea. <laughs> you know what? We're not only mad, we're rich. We're filthy rich. We can do really cool stuff now. We can build a giant laser and knock the Earth off its axis, or <laughs> we can bail out Midwest Federal. Wow. <laughs> Think of all the appliances and stadium blankets we can get. Oh, speaking of getting things, I, I brought you something back. Little, I can't get over you. Little trinket, little Chotsky. <laughs> You've really changed for the better. Something really must have changed you in Vegas. Yes, it's the uh, Isaac Asimov body splash. It's oh. part of the Foundation Trilogy gift set. See? Take a whiff. Oh, smells pretty. Like space. Starts bold, finishes clean. <laughs> Yeah, it was this or the iRobot grooming bikini waxing set. Good call. Good call. Oh, and uh, something else. Mad scientist masculine hygiene mist. Let me try. Let uh, me try. Later. Later. I'm overwhelmed. You really are something special. Oh, no. You're something special there. Did a lot of thinking about you when I was in Vegas. And I brought back a super film. Really? Yes. It's called SST Death Flight. <laughs> it's perfect for Joel. I love it. The death white thing and Tyson Grace. <laughs> You're right. I didn't think of that before. It's got Lauren Green and Bert Convey. It's two hours long, but to Lauren Green, that's like 98. <laughs> I was leaving the parking lot in Caesar's Palace, and I ran into Bert Convey, and he gave me the film. So why don't we send it up? Let's do it. Okay. 100 bucks says you do it. Oh, no. Here's 200. You push the button. All right, okay. <laughs> Movie sign! Standing by to ignite afterburners. All right, let's take it through Mach 1. Uh, 
this is Captain Walsh. Mike the Brady. speed is now approaching 660 miles per hour. Please direct your attention to the micometer window. An empty plane, and he's making announcements? When the number one appears, we will be penetrating hey, isn't that ginger? Area. It's TV's Billy Crystal. We'll observe no Tano Louise. vibration nor sound within the aircraft. I want to make clear to you, this. as you Thank will you. to your passengers, that in exceeding the speed of sound, there is no safety hazard whatsoever. And no smoking. Oh, that implies safety hazard, doesn't it? Barbara Anderson. TV's Burt Convey from Match Game. Peter Graves from um, Mission Impossible. Lauren Green, Green from Dog Years. Season Hubley. Tina Luis from Gilligan's Island. Oh, yeah. George Maharis. Cool. Doug McClure from Search. Burgess Meredith the Penguin. Search. And TV's Penguin. And those amazing animals. Martin Milner. Robert Reed from Brady Bunch. Brady Bunch. Misty Rowe from When Things Were Rotten. Wow, look at that wingspan. Is this a television film? It looks like kind of Teleplay. a airport bank opening. He used to be on Adam 12. Martin Midler? Yeah. Come on this way. I don't want to talk to him. Lyle, he said the whole point of this trip was publicity. Not with Harry. I know him. He's never had anything good to say to me or about me. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. It's Regis, Regis. Philbin. Oh. Too late, lover. Smile. Hey, here's a familiar face, old number 38, great running halfback out of the University of Notre Dame. Excuse me, sir. Five years an old pro with the New York Giants and a one-time sportscaster, Lyle Kingman, with his lovely wife, Nancy. Wild Kingdom. Hello, Lyle. Hello, Harry. When did you start meeting airplanes? Well, when it's a plane like this, it's new. Just like it was news when the network fired you. Now, what have you been doing lately? We haven't heard too much from you. Sorting through offers, mostly. We have a big one about to break. And writing a book about you, Regis. I'd like to know what that is. I'm sorry, Harry. Nothing's firm yet. You'll be the first Nothing's to Nothing's firm. Nice to see you. He is getting old. That was like... This isn't a dolly painting. Even the bartender's famous. I love that wall hanging. That gigantic deal. Don't you think he can see right through that? Well, you want me to tell him that we're dead broke and network crumb would love that? Tell him nothing. But you'll be back in your own way, in your own good time. Maybe you've forgotten. It's been a long year and a half without a paycheck. Get As opposed to a show year and a half. I'm still a fan, huh? A show year and a half? A show one. I want to ask you really Like the guy down south. Would you marry me? You mean make the same mistake twice? Now, what kind of a dummy do you think I am? You married her before? The best. A ventriloquist dummy. Or a store dummy. Or a superimposed SST dummy. JFK Tower, maiden one is Chantilly. It's always good, it's always good to fly the speed of sound about 150 feet above New York City. And his co-pilot's Ted Copper. When he dies, he can get his own reaction. That's good. They're going into feeding position. It's flying sideways. This is Carla Stanley at the boarding area, bringing you the historic flight of Cutlass Aircraft Maiden One. After much controversy and many delays, approval oh. has been granted for an experimental flight from New York to Paris, seeking a world record flight time of two hours and 40 minutes, faster than any commercial airliner has ever traveled. And now here she is, America's first SST. Isn't she from Ironside? No, she had the operation. Oh. Why does she walk like that? Iron hip. That's not a plane, that's a new era. The last one for me, I do believe. <laughs> well, come on, Willie. Let's go take some bows. They're all yours. Because I gas is an SST's natural food. Phillips, you load everything like I told you? Sir, 
You've asked that question twice already, and the answer is still yes. Good, because now I want you to load an extra generator, an extra gyro, and an extra set of tires, you hear? Now get on it. You could cook out and put a bomb on me. That arrogant know-it-all gives me a pain. Where? A little harder. He's a good mechanic. I don't like the way he handles his crew, the way he treats them. If he'd learned to act like a human being, I'd have moved him up. He wouldn't be in this film. I wonder how Cindy and Jan are doing. They're in the luggage now, compartment. Now, just a few moments from boarding, we're going to meet with a couple of the contest winners who will be flying to Paris cases. as guests of Cutlass. Congratulations, sir. You are? Jared Hansen from the great state of North Dakota, and happy to be here with you. Thank you. I bet you Hi. are. Hi. Good you actor. Tell us who you are. Ann Redding from Massachusetts. What do you think mm. about all this? Pretty excited? I'm happy. Just very happy. You are? Too bad. Hello so in here for a refill. Together. We're engaged, uh, unofficially. Well, you certainly look right together. Good luck. That would make them engaged to be engaged. Today's flight and the circus-like atmosphere here yeah. at Kennedy Airport are all obviously part of a carefully staged event. But I think the it's also fair -like to say that the so many is flees. genuine. That the people here and in home share this in that news sense reporter will self-destruct in five seconds. America is about to launch the fastest commercial airliner in the world. So it's a subliminal commercial airliner. Hey, it's the Bee Gees. Potential customers should be impressed by the aircraft's 275 nice airfoil. feet I'm, I'm, I'm capability and good. also the cruising speed of nearly 2,000 miles per hour. Do you have any idea how many firm orders have been booked? Uh, Speaking of firm... They didn't tell me that part, but... Uh, Speaking of cruising speed... Would you like to know speed. about the interior color options? No. We'll settle for pictures. Um, Linus! Yes, he brought his blanket. Man, he brought his blanket. Uh, how much to smuggle me on board? Get me another generator and a gyro and a couple of more spare tires. And metal arc weapon. Oh, I gave you everything you asked for. Look, don't tell me what I asked for. Just do as I say. Marcus Haynes to show you how. I'm Rodney Allen Rippey. Now, put a couple of barrels of toxic waste on Hmm. Change your suit. Into a dinner for two. Yeah. Put him in. Nice. I didn't know a priest. Oh, terrific. He's stealing the tablecloth. He does a trick with it. Oh, no. Cleaning the table. Corrosive. Handle with both oh, their Mopal. Mickey! Kids, remember, literacy and robots don't mix. Uh, take a drum of bears all over the maiden, please. Come over here and spill some of this in a dangerous place. The airplane's got an odd growth on it. What do you think of it? Want to wrap it up? Or can I eat it here? <laughs> How you doing, Marshal? On uh, the biggest day of my life. How do you think? Very well, thank you. Hank Fairbanks. Willie Bassett. So you're the legendary Willie Bassett. Trouble with being a legend, most people think you're already dead. <laughs> I know I do. Fairbanks. Were you a pilot? Yeah, I used to fly them. In Alaska. Now I buy them. Something went wrong. Fire. I represent a group in South American Airlines. Hank is here to examine our plane. They'll buy whatever he recommends. You got your checkbook with you because you're as good as sold. I hear locksmith has got a pretty fair machine. Yeah, they do have a very good machine. Ours happens to be better. Oh, you're wrong again. There's good, there's better, but there's only one best, and you are looking at it. Excuse me, for the groupie sir. knows. Yes, yes, yes. Sir, I just got a call from a Dr. Thurman of the World Health Organization, and he would like to get a, a whatever it is, a culture, I think, to the Pasteur Institute in Paris as fast as possible. This is a promotional trip. It's not a mercy ship. 
Well, that's just the point, sir. What we're promoting here is, is two hours and 40 minutes to Paris. And I, well, I figured what better way than to lend the fastest wings in the air. And besides, uh, he's already on his way. And if you could step into our sound booth, the coach? your wife will not give us the answer. Oh, he question. says if the plane is safe, it's safe. But besides, I can guarantee complete newspaper coverage, TV commentators, the works. It's all free, Marsh. Besides, it might be a good thing to do. I mean, if you're interested in doing good. That's All right, put him on. If he's on time, this flight leaves on schedule. How come everybody's got a stick of gum? He's really something, isn't he? Yeah, How come everybody's got uh, Foreman and Clark? No. Close. How much did she take? Near all of it. You topped off both primary and backup systems? Yes, sir. She's all set. Good luck. Pepsi is leaking. Hmm, how does Quincy figure into this? <laughs> Gentlemen, we are about to enter into a world of forensic air transport. And the rubber's oozing, but that's about it. 250 million bucks later, what else is now? Baby's wet and hydraulic seals leak. And you only have half a Walkman on. Well, I'll say goodbye, Hank. Talk Bye, Hank. Long? Oh, Willie gets to have all the fun. He stays on the ground and gives interviews, long ones. <laughs> well, I'll show you the flight desk. Doug McClure. Hey, Jack. The career Welcome that time home. forgot. Uh, oh, wow. So just a minute. So spacious. Should he the plane's hands, nice, too. Sir, or what? Well, May. <laughs> We'll skip her to... Well, you, uh, you look, uh, you're looking great. Well, exercise, eat the right foods, get plenty of sleep. Lots of Anyone coconut. I know? None of your business. Well, I may just start checking up on you. Uh, uh, oh, I'll catch up with you in a minute. I had a good time well, playing in Denver. Back on top again. Bob, job, Denver. <laughs> Are you happy? Back on General? top again. No. Right now, seeing you? Yes. Save it, John. I had my fill the last time around. Mm. What have you say, me? Nice tie, though. It's awful good to see you again. Hank? Did anyone tell you Jim Walsh is captain? Oh. Luck of the draw, huh? Well, they had to put someone up there. She's worried. And here is the brain center of this bird. It's completely computerized. I tried to convince them we didn't need a pilot up here, but they got too strong a union. All right. This movie's got more oh, stars Captain. than the two-hour episode of the Love Boat Ghost of Fantasy Island. You know each other? Well, we're practically brothers. Isn't that an adding machine behind his head? It's my right seat, Eric Brett. Hank Fairbanks. Heard a lot about you. Anything good? Figures. Nice mat job. Nice paint job. Welcome aboard, Governor. Well, thank you. You're in Section B. Anything going to Paris is already a success. Have a wonderful trip. Hello, Miss Hayes. Welcome aboard. Hi, you're in the part of the plane that falls off. Looks like a regular plane with a fake nose. 747, I think. Nipsey Russell. No, it's Barney from Mission Impossible. It's Brian Dumble. No, it's good. Yeah, it's like no, it's that guy from repairman. It's that guy from Temperatures Rising. I'm Dr. Thurman from World Health. This has to be handled very carefully. Uh, we know all about it, brother, so don't worry. Last time somebody said don't worry to me, three case histories were put on a plane from Miami. They were supposed to go to Jacksonville. We found them in Jamaica, brother. Mom. I hear you, doctor. It's the truth. Doctor, brother, I'm confused. Oh, good. There'll be a virus getting loose on the plane as well. Welcome. Section A. 
Yeah. She's got kind of a midriff bulge going, doesn't she? Ginger? She's got a thing for Peter Graves. She just thinks he's the man from Glad. Well, she thinks he's the man from Uncle. Terrific. Never been happier. Oh, terrific. Doesn't she have anything to change into? She can wear that Oh, excuse me. Um, Tim, I mean, Mr. Rooney, he said that there was some place for me to change later on downstairs. The lower gallery? Terrific. Thanks. You're a doll. Hello. Please put your brain under the seat in front of you. Hello. Your brains are probably all in that walk. Kathy, I think you could use some brains there. Hmm? Billy, you look pretty pathetic. <laughs> Hello, I'm Angela Garland. Miss SST. I'm you can call me Bubbles. Oh, don't let me bother you. They must be boarding alphabetically. Excuse me, but did you say you were a doctor? Yes, an epidemiologist. Oh, well, I hate to bother you, but do you have anything for a queasy stomach? Oh, this film. it's the excitement. <laughs> I was starving. Mm -hmm. I'm always starving. Here, have a lifesaver. Pickles. Pickles give me gas. <laughs> well, coffee does that to me. Mm -hmm. Me too. Lately, I mean. Ordinarily, it never bothers me. I have a cast iron stomach. Except well, when I the last few weeks, of sausage I've been waking up every morning queasy. Besides which, I gained about a ton. Well, perhaps you should have a talk with your family doctor. Oh, I would. But I'm already pretty sure what he's going to tell me. I mean, wouldn't you be? I mean, those are the obvious symptoms, aren't they? You think you're pregnant? <laughs> well, if it's true... Congratulations, Mrs. Well, let's Gala. check you out right oh, here. I it's happen to bring Gala. my portable stirrup but with me. not for long. What's new, baby? Hi. Hi, Doc. How you doing? Bert's so friendly. Oh, excuse me. They just met. Two plus two equals... Check this completed, Captain. <clears throat> He's got a wire in his head. Uh, ladies and gentlemen... Even it's with a great it. deal of pleasure that Cutlass Aircraft welcomes the you automatic aboard pilots. Maiden One for its inaugural flight to Paris. Clear to turn one. Roger, turn one. One is go. Uh-oh. The Coca-Cola's leaking. He wants to change his seat. I want to sit next to Bubbles. Up. We're so beautiful, they hate to let us go. I have a friend <laughs> at the tower, and he has promised to help me make it into overtime. No crosstalk during departure. Maiden one cleared for takeoff. Roger, maiden one ready to roll. Seems like a big problem out there. Somebody get a mop. Or a mag. 220, 230. Rotate. Gear up. I feel a commercial coming out. I feel it in my bowels as well.
back. Well, Bob. Beware of the blood. Look at that spark coat. He crawls and slides in the And I don't believe it. This is marvelous. What a happy surprise. How are you, Paul? Well, I'm, I'm tickled to death. What do you think? But you, I mean, the, the flight, how... Uh, the contest. I won the trip. Uh, this is Bob Connors. Mr. Connors? You also know him as Q on no, Star Trek. No, Van. We're together. Well, then I would say that you are very definitely a winner. Good for you, both of you. Oh, I think I'm blocking the road. Hmm. I was just going to have a look around. Join me for a drink, will you, the two of you? I'll wait for you back in the main lounge. I'll just crouch here in the aisle and... Now, how many times are you able to get by one of those things on an airplane? It doesn't happen in real life. Say, who's that old boy? Uh, that's Paul Whitley, the man I used to work for. President of Whitley Electronics? Well, opportunity knocks. Whitless let's electronics. Go have drink. Oh, let's not, Bob. He was just being polite. Oh, what's wrong with us being polite? I honestly don't feel like a drink. But then have coffee or tea. Anything. Come on. Come on. A guy like Whitley, I could use a break. I could use a break. This is kind of like a parody of the movie Airplane. You realize that, guys? You mean it's not real? Ted Koppel. Wobble like that. We're experiencing a little clear air turbulence. Ooh. We should be through it that very soon. Well up. And meanwhile, please note we've turned on the seatbelt sign. Thank you. Now I remember. My memory's like a trick knee. It pops in and out. Fairbanks. You're the guy that was involved with that big brouhaha a few years back. They took away your pilot's license, didn't they? Everything that locked me out of the terminal. Yeah, for needlessly risking the lives and the safety of the passengers in your charge. There's nothing wrong with your memory, Mr. Bassett. It was just a loop to loop. Things I remember, I remember pretty good. I thought they'd enjoy it. There's the things that I forget, I don't remember at all. Did you forget all those episodes of Batman? I was flying from Los Angeles to Atlanta. Over to Mexico, a passenger suffered a heart attack. A major heart attack. I radioed the nearest airport, told them to have an ambulance standing by, and went in for a landing. Well, they busted you off for that? <laughs> well, it wasn't exactly optimum weather. It's kind of hairy coming in. Well, you didn't have to report that part, did you? I didn't. My co-pilot did. You know him. He's your captain. Oh, what? Oh. Wee, 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 wee. Mm. Mm. Hi, Lyle. Hi, Carla. Mrs. Kingman. Hi. Glad to see you out among them again. Oh, we still make a few of the freebies. Last week we opened a hotel in Tucson and did a telephone in Abilene. Well, you're A-list with me and with a lot of other people I know. And with us. My kids would rather meet oh, you yeah. than anybody I can think of. You well, know O.J. Simpson? I think maybe all those Sunday afternoons added up to something. Is that Suzanne Summers the in the seat behind them? The that you maybe do some congratulations. From what I read, Barcrest Estates means to be the biggest thing in Arizona. It's nothing definite. It's not said yet. Well, if it's right, I wish it to you. I'm going to grab a drink. Two more hours and I'm on again. That'll By satellite solve everything. Yet. Two more hours, the flight is over. You do have an offer. You're not thinking of taking that, that Mike Hillman real estate thing. Hey, it's a job. A big one. Mike Hillman's not offering you a job. He wants to buy your reputation. Because his own is so rotten. You said that. So I got to know him better. And I'm running out of cash. Maybe he can get a haircut. 65,000 feet, Captain. We are at altitude. Set cruise control. Yes, that is at altitude. Setting cruise control. Cruise control. 1.7 on the Ebers. Looks good at 2.5. Wouldn't it be helpful if they had windows in that thing? Oh, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Walls. 
If you look out your windows, you'll see a sight that very few except the astronauts have ever seen. An oncoming plane. Although the sky above remains black. Our wing is completely on fire, not unlike re-entry. We are literally at the edge of outer space. Which edge? Oh, that'll fix it. I thought it was completely computerized. Those look like oven knobs. Flutters on the pressure gauge and falling. That leaky seal must be acting up again. <laughs> Not that kind of seal. Switch to backup hydraulic system. Switching to secondary hydraulics. No, that's bake. I'd better go have a look, okay? Sure. Yeah, hop to it. On one foot? And for that, he's going to open up. Bring me some frosty freeze so pops, So if it all too. works out, we'll be married in the spring. But then you are engaged. Well, that's great. Just great. Well, it's not. Well, the deal isn't quite nailed down yet, but I'm working on it. Sales is my line. And if I can't close in Paris, then I don't deserve it. How is he at selling himself, Ann? Well, we're here together. Well, then I'd say he is a very good salesman. I think so. Mm. Mm. I know so. She worked for me for three years, and I I couldn't sell her on staying. You know what I can't quite figure out, Anne, is why you left. If I had the opportunity, I'd certainly rather work Bob, for Miss... Really? We'll count your blessings, because if she hadn't left... Me, oh. If she hadn't left Whitley, you... Oh, I get it. Uh, Things are different now. Get it? She's a big girl, Joel. She can handle it. Captain, uh, this is Phillips. I'm looking for. Uh, I think you, um, I think you had to get down here. Caring man no. like me, Tom Servo. Looks like the Chemtone paint vein has busted open. What's the problem? The seals are just not holding up. Can you unplug them or replace them? No. I'm afraid not in flight. Be some solution here. Yeah? That's what you're here for. Well, there's only one solution. You have to turn us back and land at the nearest possible airport. For a simple hydraulic leak? Come on, the manual's very clear on that. Yeah, Captain, forget forget the manual. These, these seals are defective. They could blow at any second. I've seen every variety of leaky seal, and I've yet to see one get completely. Hey, Captain, I know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm here for. I'm telling you that if we don't turn back... But my tail between my legs with another company two months away from having a plane in the air liking nothing better than to see us fail? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Captain, Slow down. With two bad sitcoms on my back? What are you talking out. about? You start drying this stuff up. This plane stays up. You got it? We'll just see if he can keep it up. He hadn't counted on that happening. Captain, you heard me. Get busy. I did it. Oh, now he's so... I told him. Barbara, give me Florence Henderson on the line. She's in the kitchen. satellite control. This is maiden one. Mm -hmm. Patch me through to air rink. I need an emergency line to Marshall Cole. Cutlass maintenance, Kennedy, New York. All Mike wants me to do is talk to the money boys, the country club boys at Bend the Elbow, slap a few backs, make a few commercials, for which he is going to pay me a percentage, a generous percentage of every dollar he makes. Lyle, he's a crook. You know it and I know it. He has not been convicted of anything. <sighs> hey, you're forgetting. We're broke. Stone cold, bare knuckle broke. I'm trying to find a way for us to survive. We're in this movie, aren't that we? That means doing it to them before they do it to us. So be it. I know you're hurt. I guess that means they better order two meals. That you don't believe a word of it. Don't you think so? You've been living with a stranger, Cookie, because that's the gospel according to Lyle Kingman. Wild Kingdom? It could be a pump when he got too much pressure. Uh, when you get to Paris, replace the entire hydraulic assembly, including the backup unit. There'll be everything you'll need at the goal. And tell Hops to stay out of the Roger, kitchen. Uh, Sir Phillips has just come up. Put him on. Maybe Hops sings the co-pilot over there on the left. Uh, sir, I don't care what Walt says. We, uh... It's we leaking it. Wesson oil. Damn it, I think Phillips. Florence Henderson had something to do with it. If it leaks at twice the present rate, you'll have plenty of pressure. Seals Use Elpo. 
They are disintegrating, I'm telling you. Anybody with a pair of eyes can see that. Hey, what are you trying to kill us all, you idiot? I don't care. Fire me. Just turn this thing around. Les, you're a pro. Behave like one. This is not just a promotional event. I hope future rides on that flight. Don't you get it? The name of this movie is Death Flight. It's cold. I want out. Now, now you wouldn't be saying that if you only knew that... I've heard enough. You're there to solve problems, not create them. Get on it. Did you hear? Get on it. I'm dead. Jellyfish. I'm in a hangar, not a plane. Jellyfish. What are you waiting for, Lindbergh? He's dead. Let's get out to the so are you, and try to think this one out. Nice color scheme with those purple chairs. It's always so quiet on these planes. No conga or anything. You were serious about that guy. Oh, that's one for the books. What'd you do in bed? Serve him hot tea and lemon? Hey. Age and virility, it doesn't track. The point is that Paul Whitley was a warm, compassionate, decent man who had a very positive effect on the woman that you fell in love with. And he had a lot of time. Keep that in mind when I pay my social security taxes. Don't start me defending him, or we may both regret it. Okay, okay. Does Sugar yeah. Daddy mean anything to you? Sorry. Do the words Daddy Warbucks mean anything to you? <sighs> About the same thing as Sugar Daddy. Mmm. Uh, help yourself. Silent Green. Uh, not what I He's got bad mind. static cling. In all the right places. I think I've got work to do. I've got a schedule. Remember the hotel by the Madeleine? We get to Paris. Why don't we... Uh... I remember a lot of hotels, Hank. I bet. That's the trouble with me. I've always been a pushover. And that's bad. A popover? Because the man you happen to be in love with can go flying off. And come back years later and feel free to say, how about it, sweetie? No, Hank. It's not that I think less of you, but I think more of me. Which means I think less of you. I'm confused now. What? Soylent Green is made from Skipper. Hey. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. All those dudes on the island. Why didn't they just eat Gilligan? There's only so much you can negotiate with a Boston cream or a banana cream pie. Coconut cream pie. Haven't been for the last five minutes. They could make a car. It's not on autopilot and it's not being flown manually. Come on, Willie. They couldn't fix a two-foot hole in the boat either. Captain, you've got to turn this aircraft around. Come on, Phillips. Stop blubbering. Oh, you understand? Captain, the, the seals are deteriorating because there's a... Uh, uh, uh. There's detergent in the air is all. Well. It's corrosive. There's what? That's not only crazy, it's impossible. I'm telling you, it's detergent. Do the business. You're getting to believe him, Captain. You've got to believe me. I know. How do you know? I know get because... Out of here. Uh, Cause I did it. I put it there. Make a course correction. We're going home. We're going home. We're not turning. Disconnect the autopilot. Autopilot disengaged. The controls are locked. We've lost all hydraulic pressure. Keep out. They've blown. Everything is shorted out. I told you I didn't should listen. We could have been home by now. So how do we fly this thing? We don't. We're as good as dead. Why didn't you turn back? You've killed us all. Everything's set up. Good. Mm -hmm. You ready to let her loose, Crow? Ready to rip. Uh, thanks for making me the control group. Now, as for servo, how many volts do you feel like today? Crank it up. I can take it. I won't talk, though. You can fill my head with gummy bears and I won't talk. 
This reminds me of when I was in Guam. Now, Servo, everybody knows that robots cannot feel pain. This is a little experiment to simulate that for you, since you want to know what it's like to be a human. This first setting that we've got is going to feel like what it's like to get uh, stub your toe. Go ahead, Crow. Okay. Ouch. Hmm. Okay, this next setting is the ex equivalent of experiencing a fiery Yugo crash. Go ahead, Crow. Ouch. Oh, hurt me. Mm. I'll never okay. talk. Don't you get it? Is this the best you can do, Mr. Salty? I say we take him to the top floor and drop him. <laughs> Let's take it to the Arsenio setting. <laughs> yeah, and besides <laughs> that, he called me Mr. Salty, whatever that means. All right, this next setting, Servo, is going to be the equivalent of watching an hour of our senior hall with guests, Brooke Shields, Jackie oh, Collins, oh. and a curator from the Milwaukee Zoo. Yeah, Go ahead. Yeah. I'm going to talk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, golly. Gal, I better unhook you here. <laughs> I love the smell of burning ram chips in the morning. It smells like victory. Well, thanks a lot, <laughs> sir. Well, at least we found out what you can handle. Hey, Crow. No hard feelings. Let's shake on it. <laughs> oh, that was the Morton Downey Jr. setting, <laughs> butthead. <laughs> Commercial. As long as we're in balance and we're flying level, we're okay. If we hit turbulence and nose down... We'll go all the way in. Whoa. The passengers start moving around with the same effect. Though. You better lock them in their seats. Look, I'm in charge here, and I don't want to hear or see anybody but crew members. Now, is that clear? Well, let me clarify something. I We're built this dead. plane. I built it to fly. Whatever I can do to keep it flying, I'm going to do. All right, Hank, let's go and see how bad it is below. I may give you a small discount. <laughs> Yeah, that was the game that Charles proposed to me during the halftime. You scored four touchdowns, remember? I should. That was the biggest Sunday I ever had. Well, yesterday's. Uh, this is Captain Walt. We're, We're experiencing an in-flight problem. There's no cause for alarm, but we have turned on the seatbelt sign and asked that all passengers return to their seats and uh, remain there until further notice. I repeat, do not leave your seats. Thank you. Except for you, Condi. <laughs> you go out and do some wing walking, Bert. All that means is the captain has dropped his glass eye into his martini. As soon as he recovers it, he'll be confident enough to let us move around. Caw, shakaw, caw, caw, shakaw. Wait, they're leaving their seats. They're getting out a lot of use out of this set. Up from the crown came a bubbling crude. Tastes like Kool-Aid. I think it's better. Why did you do that? For money? I never thought it would come to this. Why didn't Walsh do what I told him? He was supposed to turn back before it got this far. And my poor plane was to hover home, discredited. A watchman picked up the order. I'm gonna kill you. Willie! Get out of here! Willie! Get out! Do no good! And I'll tell you one thing. You gave me the money's worth because you killed the plane. But what about the people? What about 250 people up there? What are we going to tell them? It wasn't supposed to happen this way, don't you understand? Oh, it was. Well, that's the only one satisfaction. And that's if we go, he's going to die with us. Why didn't you promote me, huh? I was supposed to be production supervisor. None of this would have happened. I was entitled. Shut up! I think you still have a pretty good chance for the spot, though. Yeah, what a way to impress the boss. What's the trouble? Probably nothing. This is last side of the martini, remember? That's why I'm drinking like a fish. Is you're either upset or angry. Which one is it? Try both. Look upset and angry? I don't But not in that order. About status, about lifestyle. Anything you do is fine with me. I'm with you all the way. Climb into a garbage pail with Mike Hellman. You're on your own. I'll be gone. I love you too much to watch you do that to yourself. Stewardess. Stewardess. 
Yes. What's going on? Why are we suddenly glued to our seats? Just routine precaution. There's no need for alarm. That's no we don't answer. have an alarm. An Sir, the captain will keep us informed. Now just relax. Did you hear that? Coffee, tea, or simple syrup? She's just doing her job. Yeah, well, I hope they're doing theirs. Stewardess, what is the problem? Nothing serious. I have to know. It's being corrected, sir. Don't worry. I'm a doctor. Be happy. It's Bobby McFerrin. That's where he got the song. Don't worry. Yeah, Be don't quiet. Worry. That's what I keep telling you. That's what you said before. Look what happened. Oops. Nice he, going, Bert. He gets the boner <laughs> award. We shouldn't have turned him down for production supervisor. We should have shot him. Now let me get this straight now. Spoilers. Flaps. Trim, don't respond at all. Apollo, no, sir, Starbucks, propeller. Boss, Little Joe. Backup systems. We can't go up, down, and turn. Cold red. What about your pilot? Engines are okay. If we stay level, we can stay up until we run out of fuel. Oh, come on, Walsh. Get a five hours fuel supply. We'll get you out of this long before that. Stop telling us what you're going to do. Start doing it. We're into it, Willie. Hank, I appreciate your help, but you're a passenger on this flight, and you're going to have to leave the cockpit. Regulations. If they get well, the fuel up, we can just use this big umbrella. Get us to Paris. What do you propose to do about the situation? Would you say that marriage was a reasonable consideration? It's certainly a consideration, but uh, there are others. I mean, there are there are clinics. Hundreds of clinics all over the place where the only thing they do... Don't you say that word to me. Don't you ever say that word okay, to me. Okay, okay. Clinic. Don't say the word, but it's going to ruin your figure. And it's going to ruin your career. Have Listen, you I can get you on a game show. Figure you got, baby. Tell her, Doc. Babies do not ruin a woman's figure. That is an old wives' tale. Isn't that right, Dr. Thurman? Yeah, well, what about overpopulation? There's already too many people in the world. Tell her, Doc. Well, There's wait, too wait, many wait, people wait, in this wait. film. I want to see what Dr. Thurman has to say about it. Well, I think I said too much already. I'm a foot doctor. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm a vet. <laughs> Pregnancy does ruin kangaroo's finger. There it goes. It's in the bag. Cool model. I think it was snapped together. Now, this is Captain Walsh. Uh, due to a temporary malfunction, would the passengers in the first two rows of the forward Please, flap the plane. Flap their lives! Rear of the aircraft immediately. Flap your and wings. number one and two, please take a seat in the rear lounge. Uh, our cabin attendants will assist you. Thank you. Okay, folks, we've heard the captain. Rows one and two to the rear lounge, please. It's only temporary. Thank Marvelous. you. Marvelous. We're going to find out what's going on. Bob! Sir, please return to your seat. Go get this straight. I'm going up there. Uh, no, sir, you're not. Tell me what to do, you pansy. I've been called that before. Yeah, and what do you do about it? I try to ignore it. And if that fails, a need of the groin usually works. You're not coming forward. Is that a fact? That's a fact. Jack? Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Oh. Whoa. Stop it! He's not getting a job. Okay, we'll get a hold of you then. Sit down. Fight. Frighten me. Frightening the passengers. Now sit down. Where's my wife? Isn't that David Copperfield? Didn't he make a jet like this disappear once? He made his career disappear. Yeah. Sit down. Are you all right? Yes. Five years ago, I'd have seen that punch coming. What does that look like to you? I'm gonna put your head Blood. back. It's his fortune. She wads that whole thing up and sticks it up his nostril. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Kind of. Just because you don't have one. It worked. Yoga, you're right, it worked great. My neck feels like a new man. Uh, this is Captain Walsh. Thank you for your cooperation. Our flight level is now stabilized. Uh, however, for the time being, will the passengers in the rear lounge please remain where they are? Uh, thank you. 
Could people in the next rows co please go sit out on the tail? I don't want to forget. Tell me, Ann. If I'm supposed to be such a great big success, how did I... How did I manage to lose you? We just got born at the wrong time. Oh, yes, sure, I remember. Let's see, if I'm 104, you'll be, uh, what is it? I, my math is lousy. Oh, Paul. He's supposed to be a pilot. I'm sorry, miss, you'll have to go back to your seat. Jerry Mathers. Everybody's in this movie. <clears throat> Are they going to try and catch them? Ready, sir. Go. <clears throat> when does the far come where William Shatner looks out on the wing and sees the monster? Cut those hang at the maiden one. Come in, Walsh. I read you, sir. We found a way to bypass the hydraulic system and move the control surfaces electrically. God love you. Send a couple of men below with heavy duty wire and connecting clips. Tell them to plug in, Eddie will direct them from here. Eric Roy. Wait, Marshal. That detergent is dangerous stuff. They're not going down there with blow torches. But I'd still wait for the fumes to clear. I appreciate your advice, Willie. Walsh, get on it. But in the world of your brother, don't smoke. Dickweed. How is he? All right. How are you? Look, I don't know what happened. I, I, I was thinking about you and him, and all of a sudden there he was. It's happened to happen. Probably won't get a job from him. It'd be awfully dumb to give up ten months for a lousy two and a half hour plane ride. All we can do is forget it and go on from here. Or not. What is it you're gonna do? Law 41 to Cutler Sanger. Nakamura here, ready and waiting. This is Brent. Go ahead, Cutler Sanger. Connect the first clip to the main generator at G4. Roger. Roger, stand by. You sank my battleship. G4. It's in that middle panel right over there. It's a hit. We're hooked in at G4. Connect the second clip to the solenoid S2 opposite side above the transformer. It's Read you miss. proceeding. Solenoid S2. Look, uh, I can help. Help? Why not? This tail's in the same ringer as ours. It's the second one there on the right. It's the second one down. You be very careful. Be careful. That's a good commercial. Be careful. Up. Oh, I always wondered how that worked. Your seat cushions become a flotation device. Time for a commercial. Mayday. Go to a commercial. We're going... Someone opened a window. Grab your oxygen mask and scrap it to your Do the chicken walk. Talk like a chicken. Try one of mine. That helps. I wonder what Ginger's thinking right now. The skippers. Oh, Billy Crystal's breathing nitrous oxide, laughing gas. Now tell her one of your old jokes. I'm going to settle my score with that creepy captain. Marshal, call and cut this hangar to meet one. Do you copy? Do you copy? Come in, Walsh. Marshal, call to meet one. Do you copy? Come in, meet one. 
Oxygen Max. Oxygen Max. Put the masks on the important stars first. Save Green. Save Lorne. Help Tina Louise breathe. She's got some of the best lungs in show business. Recognize me? I was Vito Scotti. That's why I carry this. Marshal Cole to main one. Come in long. Main one, Marshal Cole. Stand back. Attention, this is an emergency. All passengers in the forward compartment go immediately to the tail section. If you can't find a seat or not to demand, use the buddy system. The cabin crew will instruct you. All right, everyone. Can they talk Here's to each other through said. those? Let's everyone move to the back. Move, move. It's kind of like drinking the same Coke. Come on, folks. There's nothing to it. Just going to take a little stroll to the back of the airplane. That's right. A little walk uptown. Form a conga line, everybody. Come on, Limbo. Everybody, just follow the little lady. Let's go. Unfortunately, there's only enough oxygen for people who have contracts. Okay, stay here. No extras, please. Please do something. Will hold me down. I guess she's in charge of panicking. You see, he really is a hero and a good-hearted man. All the actors form two lines. Love Boat on the left, Fantasy Island on the right. You're cutting off my circulation. His eye needs some air. I'm breathing for two now, honey. Cut those hangers. Explosive the voice. I'm filling in for Captain Ross. He looks kind of like Mickey Mouse with that thing. Any casualties? Well, We're dropping at 5,000 feet per minute. Share mine. Now we're seeing what he's made of. A tower of yellow. Oh no. Sir, get back to your seat and put on your oxygen mask. I put a biological on board. I have to see if it was damaged. Where is it? In the baggage compartment. You can't possibly get there in flight, but I'll tell the captain. It's always good to have a deadly virus roaming around us crashing. Ooh, I'm steamed. Oh, that's going to take months to fix that. No. Hold on, Doc. We got you. Get him back to see it, honey. Don't say that word! Okay. You'll be all right, Doc. Okay, I'm going back. <coughs> Thank you. And thanks for programming cops into my repertoire. John Denver. Wow. Far out. You breathe enough of this oxygen, you do get a Rocky Mountain high. Mine's mint. Uh-oh, three on an oxygen mask. Bad luck. Now it's my turn. Come on. Come on. Passengers to the rear to try to get us back into balance. She's leveling off. 
What's the altitude? 10,000 feet. I like a little more falling down room. At least they won't need oxygen anymore. Tell them, Walsh. This is Captain Walsh. We've reduced our altitude to 10,000 feet. Uh, you can breathe now without oxygen. Thank you. Just kidding. You can smoke, too. I'll take over now. It's like the man saved your aircraft, Captain. You've forgotten how to say thank you. When he ever said the man wasn't a good pilot? Appreciate what you did, we all do. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. A little gratitude never hurt anybody. Whoa! What happened? A lot of turbulence. Kumbaya, Malone. Kumbaya. You can breathe now. Carla, Carla, look at me. I'm breathing normally. You can let go of that now. Breathe! All right. Oh, that's normal. Hyperventilating her way to an officer. Sorry. Who are we? Knowing <laughs> this sort of thing is not the same as reporting it. She said a mouthful. Everything's going to be fine. It's all right. Is anybody hurt? I just saw the Grand Canyon. Is everybody reasonably okay? Mm -hmm. We're making a comfortable living. These freebies are really getting to be something. They make you work for them. <laughs> <laughs> You could always sell FTD bouquets like Merlin Olsen. He's a he's a washed up football player. Or hey, listen, busted. everybody. Let me tell you something about this little disturbance. Yeah. Did you know it's more dangerous to cross the city streets? Says than you. To fly the Atlantic in an airplane? Yeah. yeah. Unless you're plunging towards it at 55,000 feet per minute. No, we're gonna make it. I guarantee it. Matter of fact, I'll stake my life on it. Your life's not worth very much right now. Just we better get out of here. Jesus. It's gonna be okay. Can I have your attention, please? Now listen to me! Now let's everybody hang together and not give the good people flying this machine any more trouble than they've already bought. That helped, thank you. I don't think you realize how urgent this is. Doctor, he said he'll see you. Please give him a few minutes more to get things settled down. Stuart? Hey, Doc. It smells like a hospital in here. Is somebody in for knee surgery? God, there's a biological aboard. A viral material suspended in chloroform. The container must have ruptured. The captain must see me now. I'll go with you. Better. You're better from what? You know, my cold. I didn't know you had a cold. I, your voice is different. I pro, I programmed it to be that way. I uh. Wanted it deep and sexy, kind of like Kim Carnes, but I kind of botched it at the end. Well, now you know. I have a great voice. I can sing, too. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday. To you. <laughs> you know, I'm really amazed. I don't know how that happened. Oh, my God. For being my creator, you sure are gullible. I was throwing my voice. Did you see my lips move? No, I, uh, you don't really have lips, but I think I know what you mean. You kill me, Joel. We fooled you good. What a chair leg. Yeah, you're a bubble and a half off plum. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Yeah, the factory's there, but they're making something else now. <laughs> Movie Whoa. start! You were right, Willie. I never sent the men down there. The paper had worked. Well, they're gone, and we're about to join them if we don't get some hydraulic pressure back in these controls. Is there a way to divert the drinking and hand water into those hydraulic lines? Well, even if there was, it'd still go pouring out through the broken seals. Yeah, but it'll give us maybe three minutes of pressure. That's three minutes of stick time. You give me three minutes, I can land this thing. What do you think, Marshal? My work. Looks like it's our best shot. It's our only shot. Three minutes of stick yeah. time. 
Now our problem is how do we bank and make course corrections until we can find a place where we can't put her down. We can switch fuel from one wing tank to another. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Do that. Yeah, yeah. Do that. That's and it. Tank a fuel from one side to the other would, 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 would turn the Queen Elizabeth. Now we'll get to work with the water connection now. Keep the line open. We're not trying to turn the Queen Elizabeth. We're just trying to fix the plane. We oh, just want point. more stick time. What's this button do? It calls a bunch of uh, stewardesses. They're elf friends. Hallelujah, Walsh, you did it. Still mad about some. Uh, this is the captain. I'm happy to report that we have restored partial controls and we are now back on course uh, to Paris. Thank you. You don't say restore partial control to a cabin full of passengers. I must speak with you, Captain. This doesn't look good. View. Hey, everybody, look through this hole. Casualty number one. <laughs> yeah. Another syringe in the Atlantic Ocean. They're everywhere. That virus is racing through this plane right now. Oh, we're lucky it's just a flu, Doc. I'm afraid you don't understand. Flu is a lump word to cover everything from a 24 hour stomach upset to the Hong Kong or swine variety. Each strain has its own symptoms, its own death rate. Yeah, I was around in 1918 when one of those bugs swept around the world killing a million. And so could this. It broke out in Senegal. The African mortality rate is already close to 30%. That's why the rush to get to the Pasteur Institute. Hope to get a vaccine. How long is the incubation period? Oh, it hits fast, with some people an hour, others a day. First starts with throat ulcers, followed with high fever and lung congestion. And I was the one that told him to take it aboard. That'll add to the legend, huh? I don't feel good. Nothing. Let him Our die. The hydraulic system is out. Our chances of landing are less than 50%. Don't ask me to cope with a plane load of hysterics. And for what it's worth, that's confidential. Tell him it was his fish. If anybody gets sick, nothing can be done until we land. If we land. If they get sick. Oh, let's look on the bright side, huh? Yep. If we land. From water valve... And we haven't even served one, dinner yet. ...to S pipe joint at V6 on the lower hydraulic line. Bingo. And Y to V6. Roger, I'll take it from there. Yeah, Willie, let me help you. No, it's okay. Listen, you go. Tell the crew. Close the johns. Restrict drinking water. Get going. Oh, now they can't go to the bathroom. And they've got the flu. Ooh. Yeah. It'll just pile up in the lounge. Take out wrenched ankle. Tell me straight, how much trouble are we in? Oh, but I bet he went to the bathroom. Oh, we're both pros. We've got some problems. We're gonna make it. There's a little hotel by the Madeleine. If we make it. If we make it, you've got a date. Hell, I guess I'm still a pushover. Maybe it'll be different this time. To go approach, but I to go doubt approach. it. This is Cutlass Maiden 1 at 10,000. Burgess Meredith is shrinking at an Minimum alarming rate. To go approach Ident, maintain 10,000. Another Mark five Harman. minutes, will be Billy Barty. Mark Harmon's on the ground. Approach, we are declaring an emergency request priority landing with crash equipment on standby. 
Roger, Maiden 1, we have monitored your transmissions. You have priority clearance. Good luck, sir. He's not really French. I'm sorry to have to remind you, Captain, but as I said, you must tell them. You have Maiden 1 to the call. Request emergency quarantine. We are carrying contagious biological material. What is purpose of quarantine, the Maiden 1? Isn't biological material contained? Repeat, is biological material contained? Negative, De Gaulle. Unit is not contained. Uh, Roger, Maiden. We will have to advise health and immigration and check on quarantine facilities. What is the nature of uh, contagion? Flu. Senegal flu. Please stand by. Miss Captain Walsh. We're awaiting a technical clearance. We'll keep you informed. Thank you. Uh-oh. Jeez, those guys deserve a medal. You know what this company deserves is a fat lawsuit. Well, one battle a day is enough for me. What we all deserve is a drink. Hey, why not break out those pork sandwiches, huh? Paul, you all right? Sure, he's all right. It's just past his bedtime, that's all. Hey, I resent that, pal. The Minister de la Santé dit que une guillotine est impossible. Oui. Oui. That was just a bad oyster, though. Ici, Gérard, fermez toutes les pistes par précaution. What? Nice and easy. I'm turning off the lights. And the ACG. The goal to Maiden 1. I regret health and immigration advisors. You cannot land with your Senegal flu not contained. Uh, say again, De Gaulle. Say again. Maiden 1, I regret it is not my doing. You cannot land at De Gaulle. You cannot land anywhere in France. We have no way to arrange for quarantine facilities so quickly. We Bummer. would require at least 24 hours to prepare. Well, the the clear one up here, the we will do what we can. Continue hold. If they won't take us, who will? They'll find us an alternate. There has to be a way to isolate this thing. It's already isolated. Up here with us. Hello, this is Fumiko Air Station, Rome. Please inform Maiden 1 that because of special condition of war, permission to land must be denied at this time. My the name goal. is Jose Emeres. Officials inform us there is insufficient time to prepare quarantine facilities. You told us that. We monitor you, you. Unfortunately, permission to land is denied also by Brussels, Oslo, Amsterdam, Stuttgart, and London. We will continue trying, but we must ask you to leave French airspace immediately. We're suggesting you crash into the sea. Yeah, I see you, Doctor. Yes. We understand American seat cushions become fantastic flotation devices. This is the captain again. We are unable to land in Paris as scheduled. We'll inform you as soon as we're cleared by an alternate airport. I anticipate no problems and uh, there's no cause for alarm. Thank you. This is your captain. We'll be landing in Moscow. Doctor, what's wrong? Does somebody not feel well? Anybody who does feel well ought to be in a straitjacket. Main one to Marshal Cold, Cutlass Hanger, Urgent, come in, Marshal. Get back to me as soon as you can. Marshal Cold here. Marshal, you won't believe this. I believe it. We've been monitoring. Hang on, I may have some good news. I've got the State Department putting pressure on London. They tell me there's some kind of agreement, a bilateral treaty covering emergency landings. They're talking to the Ministry of Health now. According to State, they have to let you come in. Great. One way or another, we'll get you down. Getting down is no problem. We can get down by ourselves. We got a whole ocean to get down in. Stand by. You want to buy an airplane? No. 
Then I go top dollar for a lifeboat. <laughs> oh no. Peace history. Star number two. <clears throat> Here's the story of a man named Brady who was trapped in a fiery burning wreck. There was Peter Graves aboard, looked like his father, Billy Elbowburn in heck. Here's the story of Billy Crystal. It's difficult to swallow. His career was at a terrible standstill. <laughs> have to remain here. Stay covered up so for the rest. So he took a little part in this movie. Ooh. I said, oh, listen, I, I once beat pneumonia and hepatitis in the same afternoon. Good. A strong constitution is your best chance. Best chance. <laughs> what a warn you, Doc. When I took up golf, I quit going to church. I said strong constitution. Like the Bill of Rights? Look, there is no point in us catching it. Besides, we should be in the back with the others. So wait. You weigh more than I do. Go ahead. That's somebody else playing nursemaid. It's him or me, Anne. Now make up your mind. Let's see. Young, virile hunk or dying dead guy? Sorry, you well, he's I'm dead. There. Just enough. I made the mistake of leaving you once. I'm not going to blow it a second time. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just have to call up the blood. I'll be right back, back to you. I'll take whatever it is. Don't why kiss him. Why do I keep thinking he's going to pull away his face and it's going to be Martin Lando? Got it. Lucky me. Well, Paul Whitley, too. He tends to strike the young and elderly first. Catches you at the beginning and the end. Which one Watch is he? Call him Maiden One. Come in. Maiden One, go ahead. Now hear this. London will honor the treaty. They don't want to, but they're going to take it. They're preparing emergency equipment and setting up a quarantine station. Proceed immediately to Heathrow, London. Roger, sir. Roger, Roger. Just rabbit, a rabbit. There's no way to quarantine against this without adequate notice. You'd have to seal this plane in plastic to stop it from spreading. With no lead time at all, all they could do was jerry-rig something. They might as well do nothing. We have no alternative. We have two and a half, maybe three hours fuel left, and that's it. If you land in London, we'll be responsible for spreading this contagion. I remind you, Captain, we're talking about a 30% mortality rate. Look, I listened to you once now. Everyone in authority is notified of our condition. It's their responsibility to grant or deny entry. My responsibility is to the people of this plane. Let's see how far it is to Senegal. What? That's where the disease originated. I mean, we can't do any more harm. It's already been done. Maybe the, the flu has run its course. Wait a minute. It's very probable that only Dakar Airport has, has quarantine facilities. Our destination is London. Could we make it to Senegal? I don't know, Willie. Our fuel is marginal. If we make it, we'll make it by the skin of our teeth. Look, forget it, Hank. I have my orders, and my responsibility is to the company, the passengers, and nobody else. Well, what about the passengers? Don't they have anything to say about this? No, they don't. It's my decision. Gentlemen, I'm afraid you'll have to leave the cockpit. It's going to get pretty busy out here. Why don't you find out how the passengers feel? Go on, ask them. Gentlemen, please. So that's the choice. Wow, mutiny on the death flight run the risk of starting an epidemic with a more than 30% mortality rate. Grr. If we pick Senegal, we may not be able to stretch our fuel that far. Yikes. There's an even chance we won't make it. Hopeful. And it's London! I'm with you, friend. As long as we don't ask ourselves how many people we're willing to let die to ensure our survival. 
As long as we feel no moral obligation to anyone else. Well, as long as what about the cities that turned us away? What about their moral obligation? We can't speak for them, only for ourselves. Heavy. What we have to ask ourselves is whether there's more to life than just surviving. Well, you took this film, didn't you? Is there more to life than How just surviving? Survive? Don't give me that. Hit him. Look, we didn't ask to be here. We're not volunteers. What is this, open night, mic? Open mic. Night on and the death Joker flight? Wow, oh, that's hard to, to say. Die well? Nobody dies well. That's why we're going to London. This movie does a pretty good right, job. London. London. I say London. Yes, London. Up with his London. head. I say Senegal. Burn the witch. Burn yeah, her. Senegal. Senegal. London. Senegal. Senegal. Less filling. It's on the equator and not very attractive. Senegal. Oh, that's all you care about, big Swiss. London. He said Senegal. Um, I'm sorry. Senegal. Well, that, that orange cuts whip, it. Orange whip. Camelot. Where's it going to the so market? Your market. To go to Senegal. Market. Please raise your hand. Market. Rudy's. Listen, there's something closer. London, for God's sakes, London. I have an apartment in London. I want Senegal. London. Camelot. Cleveland. What else? Senegal. Bemidji. Lake Calhoun. New York. South America. New I'll York. take Manhattan. Senegal. The way things have been going today. Chicago's a time like that. I'm getting out of here. Anyway. Let's go. Where are you going? I'm going to Disneyland. Come explore Minnesota. Goes for Senegal in A section. Beautiful bunch, a ripe banana. Daylight come and me wanna go home. It's highly deadly, black tarantula. Daylight come and me wanna go home. Sing Bruce Wadden and Mark Anderson of Richfield. Hey, come Mr. Tellyman, telly me banana. Sing Mark Utari of Zimmerman. You wanna go home. De he said them, he said them, he said them, he said they You say you're responsible to the passengers. Well, the passengers, by a vote of three to one, have decided for Senegal. It's insane. Oh, Maybe it no. is, but the passengers voted in Senegal. They remind you, this isn't a town meeting. There's one vote that counts here. That's mine, and we're headed for London. Will you, for once in your life, make a decision on your own? Not what everything a... in this world is covered by the FAA, Book of Rules and Regulations. What a hothead. Well, I know you never have paid much attention to that kind of thing. Ouch! You threw the book away and your career with it. I Give that man a bowl of milk. Damn it, dozens. You didn't just come in under the minimum. Cat you know, five. Socked in at zero zero. And you picked an airfield so small it didn't even have an approach radar facility. You bet the lives of everybody on board that you could force a landing on a runway that was 500 feet too short and never intended to handle an aircraft that large. Oh, you want to make airline. One? It's my I game. I made the landing. Yes. But only because you were the best or the luckiest. Hey, number one fly by the seat of your pants pilot this company ever had. And you were wrong. Your decision to land in West Texas was unprofessional and irresponsible. That has nothing to do with what's happening now. It has everything to do with it. Because you still think that the pilot of a commercial airline is some kind of a, a rodeo star. Boys, a boys. A with a white scarf tied around his neck. That attitude didn't belong in the cockpit when you were busted, and it doesn't belong here now. 
God, how long will it take for that to sink in? That's why they call it a cockpit. Accepting the award for best actor in this film. Is that a right, cockfight they just had? That was wrong. I guess it was easier for me to blame you than face myself. And if that's true, if that's true, then I risked the lives of a lot of people in order to save one. I admit it. I was wrong. I made a mistake, a bad one. But aren't you about to do the very exact same thing? Well, you take this plane into London, and you'll be risking the lives of a great many just to save a few. The needs of a many outweigh the needs of a few. I wish Florence was here now. Or Andy Davis. Well, let's bring me coffee. Waltz, go ahead. Even Alice's Waltz. evil twin. A number of important people on that plane. I don't want them inconvenienced. Our representatives in London have already pulled all strings necessary to get them out of quarantine as soon as possible. Understand? Over. Copy. Come in, Maiden One. We're changing course, sir. Changing? Changing course to where? Dakar Airport, Senegal. Are you crazy? Yes, maybe. You take that plane straight to London. That is an order. Now you read me. Do not Over. pass go. Do not collect $200. I read you, sir. Cutlass made in one. Out. This would never happen on the Ponderosa. I'm taking this horse Thank you, to Captain Walsh. Seneca City. Well, you better check with the Senegalese people, make sure they have no objections. Shouldn't be a captain at all. I would be a general. Seneca makes great grape juice, too. Now everybody likes everybody again. The Senegals almost took the Super Bowl this year. That was the Ben Benegals. Oh golly, I'm sorry. Hey, don't use the same thermometer. It's okay, he's a doctor. At least don't use it orally the twice in a row. Yeah. Make sure you get the order right. And if it's a snake, you use a, a reptile thermometer, perhaps? Right. People don't seem to realize they answer the question. Funny joke. Wouldn't do it in a comedy book, but it's a funny joke. I'm not one of those people. I have an answer just waiting for a question. Hmm? Huh? What's the answer? Will you watch me die? Yes. What's the question? Will you marry me? Are you ugly? Will you marry me? Oh my God. I thought you'd never ask. That's not the question. Once before. Only that time it was the wrong answer. Then if I swore I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> oh, now she's uh -oh. got it. Well. Please, Bert, be sick. Be ill. Hey, how about a quick game of win, lose, or draw? You're praying. Awesome. I was making a deal. <laughs> if he gets us there, safe and sound, we'll make it permanent. Wow, a lot of promises being made. I'll have this 666 removed from my forehead. <laughs> Can I ask you one more favor? Should we Can name we him Damien? On our honeymoon. Can we go by boat? <laughs> oh, it's about time for Burgess to die, I think. It's a low-budget flight. They had to share a pair of headphones between them. That's right. Pressure falling in all mountain passes, wind shears or quadrons. Not one stinking break since this historic trip began. We don't need no stinking break. What do we got, 20 minutes? No, more like 10. I got an idea. What are you doing? You're going to need those three minutes of control. Forget it. Let me do it. No, you're here to buy. He's paid to fly. I'm the legendary guy who built this place. The 
Let's all stick to what we know. Willie? She's a great machine. The best. Few flaws. Cargo full of dead people. We're gonna come up short. Isn't there some place we can land this side of that car? There's nothing between here and that car but mountains and jungle. Well, you better get ready. Tell me. Passengers for a possible emergency landing. Oh my God. Easy now. Easy. Put your head between your legs and kiss your butt it. goodbye. I'm sure gonna try. You take care of yourself. It's mine goodbye first. I got something in mind for you later. Charlie. Whatever it is, you've got the right girl. I love you too. She didn't say she loved you. She's my girl. I'll get a chance to say this again. Feelings mutual. Fly the plane. I hate Please you too. Please remove all glasses. Loosen your ties and your belts. Place a pillow in your lap and be ready to place your face in the pillow. When the aircraft comes to a halt, I could do that. I wouldn't leave the, the house. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> the car anyway. I think it's in the garage. <laughs> Luggage gets lost. Crowbar on his skull. You took your time getting here. I'm here now, Willie. Just in touch with my minute. speech. Hank. Yeah. How many made it? A lot, Willie. A lot. I wish I was one of them. Now you live forever. I oh, already have. And get off my chest. Wait. I want to die with my plane. Not the plane. You tell him. I'll tell him. I gotta protect. Protect? I don't think. I don't think he'd want it now. My le legend. His what? Medic! His legend. Oh, good, he brought the tackle box. And so will Qua. Hercules wristband watch. He's gone. Protect the legend. Uh, 
Fudge. Fudge. All right. He was Bigfoot. We're alive. I changed my mind. Are you everywhere? Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> he sure did his job, didn't he? He who? You know, huh? both of us, safe and sound. All three of us. I've never kept yeah, a deal in my hurt. life. I hurt my wrist and my leg. Is, and talk about a splitting head. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't get me wrong, sweetheart, sweetheart. I wouldn't try to weasel out of a promise. That's what I'm wondering. No, well, shame on you. Shame on you. Hey, I had my eyes crossed. The only thing is, you know, I just, I just don't think that, uh, well, we're not absolutely positive that you're pregnant. You know, we're not really terribly sure. I think that we shouldn't really tell the whole yeah. world. Well, th there's no point in telling your family and, and all your relatives and everything, you know, because we don't, I mean, that we're going to get married. I mean, we don't know that. Sure, but a right? test. I think that. A scream test. That we ought to talk about he just doesn't want to wind up on his own program. You know, we're talking about embarrassing things with his wife. Where have you been? Here. You all right? I'm not injured, if that's what you mean. Where is the champ? Hmm. Sleeping. I'm sorry. Sorry. Now you're gonna marry a coward. Are you all right, Miss Family? My throat. I. Eggnog. I've got it, right? Ooh. <sighs> what did you say the mortality rate was? Well, the survival rate is at least 70%. <laughs> I haven't been out of the top 70 percentile since grammar school. I've got it made. Well, there's a quarantine hospital already set up. We'll get to there as quickly as we can. And you don't have to How do any others? spelling. Fourteen or fifteen so far. Doctor, we did the right thing, didn't we? Yes. Are we our brother's keeper? The majority of our fellow passengers answered yes. They backed it with their lives. But the vaccine, will they develop it in time to make all this worth it? Well, there are a lot of good people at the disease center in Atlanta still working on it. And we've radioed back and they've already sent a culture on to the Pasteur Institute. By train. Yeah, we'll crack it. Good luck. Yeah, now he gives the uh, canteen to somebody else. Well, you're in a hurry if you're going to be pouring tea. You know. Tea? Isn't that what faculty wives do for tea? Football coach is part of the faculty. Well, what about that deal with Mike Hillman? I don't think I'd look good in a garbage pail, even a gold-plated one. Besides, somebody's got to start somewhere. There's probably some good kids at destitution you. Anything you say. It takes a plane crash to bring people together. I think it's worth it. It's a lot cheaper than one of those marriage uh, counseling uh, weekends. Yeah, but the wrong people go. Burgess bought it, but Bert and the bimbo are still alive. But he'll live on in reruns. Ah, oh, that's true. And legend. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Don't you get it? Whereas Peter Grays has Mission Impossible. His brother, James Arnez, with Matt Dillon. And The Thing. And The Thing. While uh, Doug McClure was in search, it didn't do too well. And then landed the loss. Land the time for God. We'll be burning all this. We should be finished before dark. You were shaft. What's your ground to? Good luck. 
course, he was in Love American Style and uh, Brady Bunch. Oh, we have to have one more. Nurse, like to learn it. We can one more. I can't take this. I'm leaving. And Ginger, of course, famous for her banana cream pies. Oh, that's right. I I'm staying. About her. Room for one more. Okay, I'm out of here. Thanks, everybody who's Mail written in for yeah. the Mystery Science Theater Fan Club. We really appreciate it. Joel, read the one from the babes, the female call. Yeah. Okay, Cam, Bob, put that one up on the screen. Go ahead, Servo. Hello, howdy, fellas. All of us girls absolutely die for you. When 6 p.m. Sunday rolls around, we drop everything to watch your show. Mystery Science Theater is choice entertainment, and it goes on to say Servo is the most incredible creation ever made, and we want him badly. Hey, Cam, Bob, put that cool one up. Cambot? Cambot. Says, Dear Joel, think your show is great. I watch it all the time. I like the one when a lady was sitting in a chair covered with a blanket and Crow said, Hey, nice jammies. All you guys are funny. That's from our pal Andy Kaslin Kalin Kalinowski, <laughs> North Minneapolis. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> That's a nice photo of you there, Joel. <laughs> Thanks. Looks well, anyway, like I really uh, keep those cards and letters coming in. And that address again, Servo, read it, buddy. Mystery Science Theater 3000 Fan Club, care of TV 23, 2505 Kennedy Street, Northeast, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55413. Please write soon and send us the name of your favorite pizza topping. I think you're going to be sorry you said that. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. Bye. Say goodbye. A small-time crook unwittingly becomes the pawn of a federal agent. Robert Mitchum and Peter Boyle star in The Friends of Eddie Coyle. Next, a week from tonight, a quiet young farmer turns into a deadly gunfighter who dedicates his life to the pursuit of evildoers. Jeff Osterhage and Hal Holbrook star in Legend of the Golden Gun, next Sunday at 8 on TV 23.